everyone and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Excuse me, it's simply Jessica here today with our Monday DIY. This, oh, oh my goodness, I just think this is going to be so stinking cute that I'm very excited to make it. Um, <laughs> I bought this hat. Everything that I have is from the Dollar Tree per usual. And we are just going to make the most adorable springtime like door hanger. Um, oh my goodness. I saw something like this. It made me excited to make one. So we just picked up this hat that they had at the Dollar Tree. It already had a really pretty ribbon around it. So we are just going to leave that alone. Now, if you don't particularly like the ribbon that's on it, you can replace it with a different one if you would want to, which, you know, everybody's style is different. But I am going to just leave that ribbon right on there because I think it's really cute. And then I just got some of the flowers. Just trying to straighten this bow out a little bit. I just got sunflowers and more springy type colors. Actually, I just kind of went with sunflower colors. <laughs> so we just got a bunch of these yellow sunflowers. And I have some of this, I think it's called Gypso. So this is really cool. And I have these little daisies. Now these just, I might use. I'm going to see how it goes as we're going. Just to add a little bit more and possibly these here, which I think are daisies as well. The tags ripped off of it. Maybe not. They might be just like little mini sunflowers, but either way, really, really cute. And that is, yep, that's all this stuff. Oh no, there was these here that I already took off. I want to just say they were called bulbs. Um, of course now I can't find. Oh, is this it? Oh, no, I'm lying to you. Um, <laughs> they're called globe flowers. So that is what I have here to play with. Oh, so we're just going to remove this tag up here. Take that out of our way. And we are just going to take your flower choices. These are mine. And we're just going to go all the way around this hat here, leaving just the bow down here. So I do want to just start with, like, the bigger sunflowers. And we are just going to hot glue them right around this entire thing here. So that's where I'm going to start moving over just enough so that your bow can be seen pretty nicely. So we're just going to add some hot glue here to the bottom. And just find where you want to start. And I think our bow goes to about there. So we're going to start right here. And we're just going to let that cool and just continue to go all the way around the hat here. And I've seen some people do some really cool things with these hats. I didn't get a chance to for Easter, but I saw people that like made bunnies out of them. And they came out super cute. So maybe next year we're going to try that. But doing just like I do with all the other ones, just throwing some hot glue on them and continuing to go around. And we're gonna use the other things that we picked out to kind of fill in and make it more full. I already popped off the sunflowers, so that's just making my life a little easier here. <laughs> and we're just gonna keep going. But I was definitely, the last couple days of the weather has been absolutely beautiful. So it definitely put me in the springtime mood here. And I figured since I have some time on my hands, I should start figuring out some springtime DIYs for you. Because I got to get my Easter decorations down. Because they're still up. I did start with the, the tree in here that I have. I did start putting like... Um, the red, white, and blue colors on it and getting rid of the Easter. But I won't decorate like that around the house yet. I'll just stick to like the springtime. All right, and we're gonna add just one more here. All right, 
paint thinner. So again, you guys know that I love the easy peasy uh, DIYs. So <laughs> that is what I try to do for you guys because I love them. So, so far, this is what we have going all the way around. So I do have a couple different options here. So I did pick these little orange flowers. I don't know because we have so much of the yellow. I was like hoping maybe it would just like add a little bit of color, break up the yellow, but I really do like the sunflower look. So I'm just, you know, I just play with this while you guys, while I'm filming for you guys to see what we like and what we don't. So I just kind of want to put those in there. I'm not going to glue them in yet because I just want to see how I'm going to like them versus using these um, little daisies. So it's still yellow, but also gives you like that little pop of color in there. So I'm going to put some on this side. I'm going to set them in there and I'll put the daisies on the, um, the other ones on the other side and just to see what we might like better. So this is what we have on this side and then we have this on this side. And to be honest, I think we're going to go with these just to kind of stick to like the entire yellow sunflower theme. I think that actually goes a little bit better. So we're going to take those out and we're going to go with the daisies. Now the daisies we're just gonna stick in like in between the sunflowers. I don't know if we're gonna do every sunflower or if we should do every other one because I do want to put some of this in there as well just to give it a little bit more. Hmm. All right let's see how many we have. Uh, that's that's going to be what determines what we do here. Let's see if we have enough to go all the way around, which I think we do. So, that is going to be it. So, we're just going to pop off all of our little daisies here. I'll glue them into place now. And we're just going to go in between all the sunflowers. So we're just going to glue those in there just to fill it a little bit more, give it a little bit more like dimension really. And we're just going to very easily go along here and just glue down our daisies. I am so excited for this weather, I'll tell you that much. I'm not excited that it's grass cutting season again, but <laughs> I am excited for the not freezing cold weather. That is making me happy. And of course, with the weather change comes like a little bit of a voice change for me. <clears throat> Happens every time. But as you see, I'm just doing the same. Just adding some glue, going in between the sunflowers and just sticking in our daisies here giving us a little bit of color break up just a little tiny bit so that cool I'll take that back out gorgeous See, I love it already. Look at this. Look how cute this is. I love it already. And we're not done yet. And I love it. So we have that. <laughs> then we are going, I'm going to take these globe flowers we have here. I think I have four of them. I do. So I'm going to take these. And these are just going to add a little bit more. And we're just going to do... Like we're gonna put our first one here, skip two sunflowers, put one there, skip two sunflowers, put one there, and then we'll be on this side, and we'll put the last one here. And again, just to kind of fill it out. So that is as easy as that's gonna be. So again, with our hot glue here, 
and then right down underneath that daisy in between the sunflowers. And as you go, I can see a little bit of stuff that didn't stick. So we're just gonna glue that down. Easy peasy. So I still have this week off of work. So we're still recovering. I do, I know a lot of you have asked and I'm so thankful for that. I am feeling really good guys. So just again, a little tiny bit of soreness, tenderness, but other than that, I really do feel fantastic. All right, this is gonna be our last one here. Hold on that there for a second. Look it. Do we see how beautiful this is already? I can't. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then we're just going to go through and add a little bit of these. They're stuck together. So you can cut them off if you want to. I'm just gonna see how it goes by stuffing them in. I actually think we're gonna need to cut them because they're too long. So let me go grab my scissors. Okay, so we are just gonna cut them. And we're just gonna kind of find where we want them and just add them in here. Now, you guys notice I don't glue it down right away. I kind of like to stick them in there and see how I like it first before I commit to the glue. <laughs> so we're just gonna randomly put them where we think we will love them. Again, just cutting little pieces off. Super easy to cut too, which is fantastic. And just add them through the hat here. more. I think one more and we should be, well maybe not, that might be where it ended. Yeah. So if you could see that, I just think it adds a little bit more, which I love. So we are just going to grab our glue again. Glue right down, I just dripped it, the stem here. Find where you want it and just kind of shove that in there. It'll attach to something and dry there. Or cool, I'm sorry, I do say dry for the hot glue <laughs> all the time. So, just gonna let that cool. Cause it will kind of, it'll grasp onto something there. If you want more, I mean, again, this is all up to how you like it, because if you want more of anything, you can just add more. If you want any more of these little white things everywhere, if you want more little daisies, whatever. If you don't want to use these flowers at all, that's fine too. But I just think this is going to be perfect to start off our spring season here. And this is our last one. And use some of our glue webs. Again, when you're going around, you'll see maybe where you need to add a little bit more glue. Where this guy doesn't want to stay. There we go. So you'll be able to see. Look at this. Right? Now, this last part, 
obviously per personal preference here. So I do have this welcome sign, like the little metal one. Now you can stick this right down here over top of the ribbon if you would like. I kind of want to glue it here. Now I know that it doesn't curve and it does whatever, right? Again, personal preference, but I think if I'm using my imagination right at all, I'm thinking if we just glue this here and then why it is up, I just think it'll look really cute. So that is what I'm going to do. So we are just going to add some hot glue at the back of this C, find the center of your hat, and we're just going to let that glue dry cool right there. So we're just going to go right on the C here. Flip this around, find our center, and let that dry. I know I get crucified for saying that. Um, <laughs> We're going to let the hot glue cool, not dry, cool. And it'll just stay on there. And I personally love it. Absolutely adore it. Now, as far as hanging it is concerned, if you have a good enough hook, you can literally just hang it by the brim of the hat. If not, you could take a little rope, a little bit of that like twine, glue it on the back. Um, my hook is deep enough that I'm pretty sure I can just hook it up like this and it'll stay. So I'm just going to go around and pull off some of our glue webs and then I'm going to hang it so you can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so there it is hanging up and I am so super happy with that. Look how pretty. I'm trying to get the light to shine on this a little better. There we go. I think this is super cute. I absolutely love it actually. This is gonna go in the front door. Um, again, you can do anything you want with the center there. Again, personal preference, it's completely up to you. But I think that came out cute. I like the welcome hanging there. And um, it was super simple, as you guys saw. It took no time, very inexpensive, and I love it. So, I hope everybody has a fantastic Monday, and I will see you on Wednesday for our Dollar Tree haul. So until next time, bye now.